go. Oh, wobble in. Sit down, hold on, get ready for this one. Oh, oh that's got to hurt. All teams enter the Red Bull Soapbox race with a dream. A dream of launching powerfully from the start ramp. That is mighty impressive. Speeding effortlessly to the chequered flag. This is going to be a good time. And proudly collecting the winner's trophy to the adulation of a huge crowd. But for some, actually quite a few, that dream comes to an abrupt and sometimes spectacular end. Oh, he's gone! As a tribute to those brave teams whose obstacle avoidance was obviously disengaged, this is the greatest Red Bull soapbox race crashes. We start the countdown in Elysian Park, downtown Los Angeles, with a team built for speed. Fast food, low friction from Long Beach. Aaron the driver, Sean is riding on the back. They are intending to go very quick. There's the performance score of 28. And they've got lots of protection on there as well, haven't they? Look at those helmets. So one wheel at the front, two at the back, the tricycle. And uh, Sean hanging on at the back and trying to get his weight into the corners to help the soapbox get around them. Straight on through the chicane. There's the onboard shot. There's the, uh, the condiments if you need them. Oh, he's lost in there! Wow, look at that! There was no way they could save that. Watch this around here, he's going so fast that then the back end skids out. I think that left wheel might well have been coming off. It did in the end anyway. And there was no way the two guys could stay on there. Aaron and Sean, here's the onboard shot. Oh, look at that. After that uh, blistering start, we head from the glamour of LA to the world's largest metropolis for number six in our countdown. Yomiuri Land Amusement Park in Tokyo, the iconic location of this crowd favourite from 2019. Dog trackers, Toshiro and Pashiro Kai. Creativity score of 36, father and son team. The soapbox theme is after dogs and dog catchers because dogs never give up and neither will the team. And 39 for the performance. The son's doing the steering and dad's controlling the brakes. How you know when to do which, I don't know. Off we go. Looks sturdy enough, looks well designed, apart from the fact that two people have got to do different things. And it's shaking at the moment. Look at the wobble, look at the wobble. Surely they can't get this to the bottom. It's wobbling all over the place. Samurai game. Seesaw coming up. Here's the seesaw. Up and down, no problem. They're all right. Pick a kicker. Pick the second kicker through the leaves. Here's the berm. They can see the finish. They know they're nearly there. Oh, they're not nearly there. They've gone straight over. And Dad's come out the back, hit the sun, and gone onto the deck. Wow! Into the tyres. Oh, they can laugh. It's all right laughing up there. Oh, look at that. No messing about, let's get to this finish line, they're saying. Well, they say dogs never give up. Dogs can't take berms very well either. 102.23, that really doesn't matter. What about that? Look at this. You can't go straight on over the berm. Look at that. Watch Dad, watch Dad. Here he comes, he's hanging on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my word. Well, that's one way to find a parking space. Next up, at number five in our rundown of motorless mayhem, this epic run from Turin in 2014. So let's see whether the uh, the next soapbox crew can keep their heads or keep their head or whichever you look at it. This one is, uh, I'm not even going to try that. It's called the Pope Mobile, this one. And basically, we have two popes, a bishop and a Swiss guard. It sounds like a cheesy gag, doesn't it, from the 70s, but it's not. It's the soapbox that we have before us, and we have... Pope Francis and Pope Benedict, an Argentinian Pope and a German Pope, which was, of course, the World Cup final in the summer as well. That's not the best push-off, is it? Don't lose your feet at that point. Down goes the Pope Mobile, which looks across between a milk float and a golf cart and a pizza delivery wagon. But around the berm they go, and he's still waving away at the back. I'm not too sure many Popes have travelled down in this kind of style or at this kind of speed. 
Through the chicane, no problem there. The 250 meter mark, it's so far so good for the Pope Mobile. Through the last chicane, over the ramp. There oh! of nosedived over the ramp. They did the kick and they couldn't do the ramp. Look at this. Boom! Oh, oh that's got to hurt. On board, you can see the carnage it caused. Well, divine intervention means they will make it down. Moving to South America for number four in the countdown and the spectacular Cerro San Cristobal Hill overlooking the Chilean capital, Santiago. So firefighting racing come next. If you like your dad dancing, this might be the team for you. 45 out of 50 for creativity. A lot of thoughts got into it, all firefighters. And the performance has gone down a storm. 50 out of 50. I'm a little bit surprised they, they got that. I can dance like that too, but I don't think I'd get 50 out of 50, but there we go. Um, I presume the person that's just pushed would be classed as the fire starter, but more on that. If, off they go, anyway. Wide wheels at the front, narrow at the back, small wheels around the bar. They've nearly got over the top. Oh, look at that. He's got the soapbox on him. Well, they nearly went completely out of the berm. They forgot a really vital ingredient. You've got to turn right. He's just gone up and up and up, and he nearly went over. Look at that. It was only one wheel left on the berm. So what do they do now? Look at that. Oh, so spectacular. Oh, glad to say that neither Christopher nor Miguel were injured there. We enter the top three Red Bull soapbox race crashes on a wet day on Mount Adams in Cincinnati and a fearless team hanging it all out there. So let's have a look at Anchorman. Uh, these are a team that did race in the Red Bull soapbox race event in Atlanta and they came third that day as the Ninja Turtle team. They are the Anchorman team today, and that's 35 there for the performance at the top. It's got those small wheels, a low centre of gravity, and two nervous fellas behind the wheel as off they go, and they've lost the piece already, but they're really quick at the top. Look at the speed through that twisty turn. Look at the skin at the back. Oh, they're absolutely flying. Flying down the course here in Cincinnati. Anchorman looking to make the mark, looking to set the time. Skidding through on those small, thin wheels down the course. Look at the concentration on the face of the pilot. Aaron's the driver. Here we go over the steps. Cascading down the course towards the kicker. They're going to take so much speed into the kicker. Sit down, hold on, get ready for this one. Here it comes down towards the kicker with all the speed. About to hit it, here we go, you can see it. Here comes the anchor man. Oh, with the goal! Look at that! That disaster written all over it, and that's exactly what we got. Look at the onboard, here we go. Oh, you can't hold it there. That is spectacular. Everybody's okay, which is the first thing to tell you. Look at his face, he's got no idea. Now he knows! Oh, you can't stop that! You can't stop that! Wow! What a crash! For number two in the countdown, we swap the rain-drenched course of Ohio for the 100-degree heat of Dallas, Texas, and a team desperately trying to keep their cool. Dallas, Texas, fantastic. Come on, Barbie, let's go party! They're three volleyball-playing, kid-having couples 43 for the performance. That's out of 60 and off we go. It's bright and it's pink, it's Barbie, and we're off. There's the first kicker. It's a little bit wobbly, this one, at the top. It does tend to lean, look from side to side. You don't want to go too far, otherwise you might be off. There's the dry car wash. Here's the big kicker. Hurtling towards it, over we go! No, oh, wobbling, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone! Oh, look at that! Oh, my word! So spectacular! <laughs> Wrestling with it, trying to lean, trying to get it back, and then bang! Look at that! 
the number one greatest Red Bull soapbox race crash, we cross continents from North America to Europe and the unforgiving course at Alexandra Palace overlooking London. We've got the, uh, the hippie split camper van, which is basically a scale model of a VW camper van. I'm not sure about the peace side, it might have to be fingers crossed as far as hippie split camper van are concerned, but off they go. It's quite small, it's quite compact, and you wonder whether the steering will be easy or not. They mine the gap successfully, and there's quite a head of steam being built up already by the camper van. Over the wedge, lands heavily, bit of a wobble. Still looking quick, though, but it seems to be difficult to hold, doesn't it, in line? Next up, we've got the apples and pears, and it's side to side through there. Over the apples and pears, bounce, 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 the wheels come off, skidding down the track. Now it's got to get through the chicane. It's actually got to reach the chicane. Through the chicane we go, fantastic driving here to actually keep it upright. Down we go towards the kicker. Over the kicker. Oh, it's flipped it over the kicker. Got so far down with just three wheels and then lands on the roof. I'm delighted to say that he's in one piece. And maybe the peace side was exactly what was needed because, fingers crossed or not, the hippie split camper van just didn't quite make it down to the bottom. This is where it all started, though. The bouncing and then the landing on that front right wheel as you look, which ripped it from its axle, and then it was all over, really. At this stage, you wonder whether they'd actually get down to the kicker, and then over the kicker, lands on the side and rolls over, and that was the end of hippie split camper van, I'm afraid.